Today, we will talk about how to teach your dog to heal. Let's have a look at the details. Many times when people take their dogs for a walk, they are actually dragged along behind the dog instead of leading them. Healing is such a comfortable way to walk with your dog, not against them, that it is worth your while to teach your pup how to do it. Anyone can train a dog to heal with repetition and patience, along with some simple techniques. The first step is learning how to train your dog. Find a quiet place to train your dog. If you have a backyard, that is the perfect place to train your dog. Otherwise, find a quiet corner of a park with few other people or pets. Teach the dog to watch you. This can be accomplished by simply associating a cue such as, watch me, with a treat. Your dog will quickly learn to look at you when you use the word, as they will expect a treat. Choose a release cue such as, okay, free, or, break, to communicate to the dog that it's okay to break the heel position or get up from a sit. The second step is training your dog to heal with positive reinforcement. Teach your dog proper positioning. The proper way to walk a dog is with the dog on your left side. For pet dogs, choose whichever side is best for you, but be consistent and stick with the chosen side. Teach your dog to position itself correctly. Right here is a useful command to teach your dog when standing. If your dog is not close enough or is confused about which side to sit on, slap your hip and use the command, right here. Create a training spot for your dog. For instance, you might use a platform or mat. When the dog interacts with the platform, put yourself in the heel position by standing just to the right of the dog, then reward them with a valuable treat. Most dogs will quickly learn that you're rewarding their position next to you. Then, release the dog and reward them if they come back to the same position. Get your dog's attention. The key to healing is having your dog's attention. Start standing still with your dog sitting beside you in the correct position. Get your dog's attention by calling their name, tapping on their head, making noises, or using your pre-taught, watch me, cue. With your dog in position, take one step. Reward your dog. Increase to two, then three, and so on. Once your dog is reliably healing, introduce speed changes and turns. Heavily reinforce your dog for good behavior with whatever they enjoy most. Treats, play, petting, praise, etc. Treats are usually the most favored and easiest option. Avoid using punishment to train. The third step is using corrective methods. Use corrections with care. Corrections can get quicker results sometimes, but they can also backfire by damaging your relationship with your dog. Think of the leash as an extension of your arm. With this in mind, do not correct your dog unless they need correction. Giving mixed signals to your dog will only complicate and inhibit successful training. When you praise your dog, do not let them disobey your command until you release it. Reinforce that your dog cannot forge ahead. Most dogs forge ahead. To correct this, keep your dog on a leash that is tight enough to allow you to step across in front of them. When they try to forge ahead, turn sharply and step directly in their path, making a 90-degree turn and heading off in a new direction. Once again, turn sharply, as if walking along a square. Train your dog not to lag as well. All you have to do is let the leash hit your leg every time you step as you walk. Try placing your thumb in your pocket to secure the lead at a length you feel comfortable working with. The thumb trick keeps them firmly in place. Use a thick collar. Thinner collars are more severe than wider collars, as pressure is not displaced over a larger area, making corrections more severe. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.